They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't fly. They were wrong. Despite the naysayers, Americans have pressed forward with determination, innovation, and ingenuity to create amazing things. These inventions have profoundly impacted the way we live, travel, and communicate. Now they're saying we shouldn't develop our own energy resources. As the price of oil skyrockets, Americans continue to search for new sources of energy. Wind, solar, geothermal, and nuclear are important alternatives and should be developed. But one of the most promising, and perhaps the largest, energy solution lies in America's own natural resource, oil shale. Oil shale is critical to our energy needs, and Americans now plan to develop this resource as other countries have successfully done. Since it can be converted into petroleum, oil shale will play a major role in meeting our energy needs, especially for transportation. Experts say there is about two times as much oil shale in the world as there is crude oil. There are over 2.5 trillion barrels of existing oil in oil shale deposits around the world, and most of it, 72% or 1.8 trillion barrels, is in the United States. Crude oil, on the other hand, has only about 1 to 1.5 trillion barrels worldwide. The Middle East controls 45% of the world's crude oil, but America has 72% of the world's oil shale. For years, other countries have been capitalizing on this valuable energy resource. Countries in Europe, South America, and Asia have built thriving industries developing commercial uses for oil shale. Brazil has been processing oil shale to produce various commercial fuels since the 1950s. Estonia derives 80% of its electricity from oil shale, and China produces 1.5 million barrels of shale oil per year. Russia, Germany, Israel, Australia, and Jordan have also had success processing oil shale. But no other country has as much oil shale as the United States. You're talking about uh, tremendous reserves. If, if we can recover up to one trillion barrels of oil, that's more proven reserves than all of the proven reserves in the Middle East put together. That's why companies like Petrobras from Brazil and Mitsui from Japan have affiliated with American oil shale developers to meet the world's growing demand for oil. They want to help develop one of the richest and largest deposits of oil shale in the world, the Green River Formation in Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Experts believe it contains up to one trillion recoverable barrels of oil. That's more than twice the oil in the Middle East. That's enough oil to meet the United States' present energy demands for the next hundred years. So with the world's largest supply of oil shale, why hasn't America done anything with it? Oil companies have known about the benefits of oil shale for decades, but have shied away from it because of the cost to extract it. They've looked at it as an expensive science project requiring extensive research and development. A few companies tried developing oil shale in the late 70s and early 80s, but quickly abandoned their plans when oil prices fell below economically viable levels. With today's record oil prices, it is a much more viable option and can be successfully developed. As long as oil stays up there, that means that this is going to be a tremendous project to uh, keep us industrially the leaders of the world. Oil shale is a fine-grained sedimentary rock that contains an organic material called kerogen. The kerogen can be heated, separated from the rock, vaporized, and then turned into liquid shale oil. From there, it can be refined into commercial fuels and valuable chemicals. There are two types of processes used to extract oil shale, in situ and ex situ. In situ technologies convert the kerogen to petroleum while it is still in the ground and extract it via a well. In situ technologies are being developed in the United States by several major oil companies. Ex situ technologies mine the shale and bring it to the surface for processing. Ex situ technologies include Petrosix, developed and used in Brazil, Canada's Alberta Tassiuk process, or ATP. Kiviter and Gallater technologies used in Russia and Estonia, and the Fushan process developed by China. Mother Nature's process of creating conventional oil takes thousands of years. Man's methods to create shale oil just speeds up the process, and the technologies are constantly improving. 
Many products can be derived from processing oil shale. The shale oil can be turned into diesel fuel, jet fuel, naphtha or gasoline, as well as many other valuable chemicals. In addition, the spent shale or the leftover rock and material can be reused to make fertilizer, cement, gravel, bricks, and other building materials and products. Developing oil shale will affect the world and national economies. A full-scale oil shale operation will provide jobs for many Americans, as well as provide additional tax revenue for local governments. It will be a very viable industry and a great thing for the state of Utah and for all of America, and it should bring down the cost of energy rather substantially. One of the major concerns with the development of oil shale is its environmental impact. Each of the current technologies for mining and processing oil shale has varying effects on ground disturbance, water, and emissions. The process is heavily regulated and requires compliance with all environmental laws and emission standards. We're looking at technologies to capture that carbon dioxide, then to put it in a pipeline and sequester it underground in a safe location where it can escape so that in fact this process does, does not result in any releases of greenhouse gases going forward. Since the shale is mined from well below the surface, similar to coal mining, there is very little ground disturbance. If any areas of land are disturbed, environmental laws and regulations require complete replanting and reclamation procedures to restore the land. Many other coal, copper, and other mining operations have had great success using the latest technologies to successfully reclaim land around mining projects. Oil shale developers recognize and understand the importance of being good stewards of the environment. By developing oil shale in an efficient and environmentally friendly manner, the United States will benefit in many ways. The first is energy independence. Increasing the supply of oil will help reduce prices, but more importantly, will help stabilize America's national security. The U.S. military relies heavily on many products derived from oil. What do you do in case of a war, and let's say OPEC turns down the spigot, or Venezuela, who as we know now is not a great friend of the United States, they decide not to give us any more fuel. By utilizing America's oil shale, it will drastically reduce our trade deficit with other nations. Over the last several decades, America has continued to import more and more oil, and currently imports about 70%. By producing our own oil, America will also increase production revenues. This means a lot of money coming in, not just to the companies developing it, but tax revenues for local, state, and federal governments. It will also mean more jobs and better economies in the local communities. Oil shale developers point to the Canadian tar sands as a model for success. These tar sands in northern Alberta produce more than 1.1 million barrels of oil per day, and production will increase to 2.5 million barrels per day by 2015. It has been a significant benefit to Canada and the province of Alberta. In the U.S., oil shale has recently received a great deal of interest and support from government leaders at the local, state, and federal levels. The United States 2005 Energy Act was the first step to promote the development of unconventional fuels. This bill is already having an impact and is setting the stage for sound development of these resources over the next several years. Many government officials have visited the Green River Formation to discuss how they can help the oil shale industry. Everybody there agreed that the consensus is we've got to move ahead and we've got to develop the oil shale. In 2008, President Bush urged Congress to lift the ban on offshore drilling. He also pushed for more domestic oil exploration and has encouraged the development of alternative energy resources. With support of government policies, private developers plan to create a thriving oil shale industry that will be commercially producing significant volumes by 2020. The energy problem won't be fixed overnight. However, oil shale has the potential to reduce the United States' dependency on foreign oil, strengthen our economy, help national security, and fortify our nation. It could literally shake the world.
It's not just a science project anymore. With American innovation and proven technologies, oil shale can and will be one of the energy solutions. The time is now to move ahead with oil shale.